Okay, we're gonna cut that oh, off. I love that song. song. It's fun. It's, it's fun. fun. It's a jam. It's a jam. We're here for it. Vlogmas day eight. eight. We have officially made it to day eight. Yay! I feel like we're doing a really great job this year of celebrating every single day. Listen, we're like, look, every we made it to day three. We made it to day five. We made it to day eight. Let's be proud of ourselves. <laughs> Everybody for give yourselves a pat on the back. Another day into the holiday season. I feel like sometimes you really do just need to give yourself a pat on the back. Yeah. Or like, give yourself a cookie. You know what I mean? Like, you oh, did I it. I know. Now I want cookies. That was, that was, that was wrong. wrong. That was anyway. me. I guess we'll have to jot over to uh, Festival of the Holidays and get another peppermint pinwheel. Spoilers. I could lose. They haven't seen that video yet. Okay. Spoilers. The peppermint pinwheel. It's yeah. delicious. I really want one. It's great. Like every day. Yeah. I think about it every day. It is my Roman Empire. <laughs> that I could learn to make at home. That would be that would be the one. Work. Because one, I feel like it's very impressive. It would impress all the people at the Yeah, home. everyone would be like, oh my gosh, how did you like, make wow, this? And you'd be so like, it was no big deal. I just whipped a little batch up for, for the whole Yeah, exactly. Theory. And they're really delicious if you like peppermint. Yeah. Okay, well, we got a lot of things to do we today. We will link that vlog above when, when it, it comes out. out. It's gonna be a bit though, so. Yes. So buckle up and be ready. So get excited. Um, but we got some things to do, starting with some pins to do. My turn, so my turn. Open. Hope is going to get to pull Day door number eight. eight. On the way down here. Oh, it's a cute little pin. Okay. We love a cute little pin. This pin is my Disney Magic Music oh. Days Walt Disney World pin. So this one has kind of a fun story to it. Way back in the day, like five years ago now, Abby and I had the opportunity to dance at Disney. We were able to do like a little stage show in Disney Springs and it was so much fun. It was such a great experience. And this pin I actually found way before that. It was, um, I think back in like 2012. I was pretty new to collecting pins. Didn't know what it was at the time was like wow this is a beautiful pin <laughs> and then once I found out what the Disney Magic Music Days were where they invite high school bands dance companies all these things to come and perform at Disney and this pin was given out in the year 2007 to all the participants who did the Magic Music Days since then it has been renamed it's no longer Magic Music Days I think it's called Disney Performing Arts something like that but it is really cool that I have this pin and then was able to go and perform yeah. so now it's kind of like a memory of both of those things, what it used to be, what we were able to do, and then now I love getting to walk by the stage in Disney Springs and see all of the choirs and the yeah. companies like performing. Um, we saw one just the other day. They were crazy, crazy good. good. <laughs> Such good talent. The so harmonies great. were amazing and we were like, I think they were a high school from Ohio. Something like that. Yeah. And I was like, wow. You guys are amazing. You we were very So impressed. it's always really fun to see which companies are performing, which schools, which troops, and it's always something new, which is really fun. Yeah. So anyways, this is a cute little reminder for me. The pin is from 2007, and it is just the gold backing with C. Disney, so it's pretty old. I also have no idea who the original owner of this pin was, um, but it has seen some stuff. Like, <laughs> as you can tell, it looks like it's been through a lot, which I honestly kind of love because it has its own story and this one obviously is the Magic Music Days Walt Disney World this is what the logo used to look like and I really love all the colors in it here is the gold backing 2007 it's a really pretty pin alrighty time for me to pick out of my clamshell of mysteries clamshell of mysteries, clamshell of mysteries. are you actually looking at them? no clamshell <laughs> of mysteries like that I really wanted to make mystery. sure they were gonna get stuck together she's like clamshell <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go for this one. Also, I feel like before we move on with this other pin, we have to shout out our shirts really quick because oh, yeah. people are gonna be wondering what these say. So they are our Hallmark shirts. Our Hallmark this Christmas is my, movie watching shirts. Obviously, and they are customized with our Ooh. names. Boom. 
Ta-da! These were given to us by our friend Beth over at the Collectioneers Club. Yeah. She gifted this to us, I believe it was in a Christmas swap. It was, so I can link it up in the card. Yeah. And it was iconic, and we love her. We absolutely love them. Love the shirts. They're so soft and cozy. I just feel like they're cut out of the frame, so these people were like, what, what is this? Is this? What is it it's a little red it truck. It looks like it's the so top cute. of an Empire State Building. It's not. It's a truck. Anyway. Okay. Okay. <laughs> oh, nice. All right. Oh, perfectly so. themed. I have already shown y'all some of my Muppets collection, but here we go again, because I, it's, it's pretty, here it's pretty, again. it's pretty substantial at this point, so, uh, yeah, um, but this one is a little more holiday themed. This is a Muppets Christmas Carol pin. This was from a couple years ago now, um, where it was the 25th anniversary of the film, I believe, and I love a Muppets Christmas Carol. This is a huge pin. It's so pretty. It's got two pin posts. I'm obsessed with it. 2019 is what it says on the back, so. So here is what the pin looks like. You can kind of see there's this dangling element down here where the title card goes and it dangles off the end. This was one of several that they released for the 25th anniversary of the film. I do also have the one with Gonzo and Rizzo um, and the ghosts of the various Christmases. Um, but this one I think might be my favorite just because I love Robin as Tiny Tim so, 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 so much. I just yeah. always love Tiny Tim, but Robin as Tiny Tim is just it's the cutest. Great. Um, so this is from 2019, like I said, and it's limited edition of 5,000, which is it's the really smallest mean. edition size, but I'm okay with it. <laughs> One I could wonder mind. if that is even limited edition, but, but uh, yeah. They tried. <laughs> but I love the Muppet Christmas Carol. Um, you've, t you've seen it before, haven't you? I have. Yeah, okay. It's I was going to say, I was like... I love all versions of Christmas I, Carol. I often watch it by myself because everyone else is sick of it, but I don't. Well, it's just you watch it an extreme amount, and I like to mix up my versions. That's fair. So, I watch all the versions. That's fair. <laughs> I just love Mommy Christmas Carol. It makes me happy. <laughs> okay, now it's time for Christmas Trivia of the Day. Let's all get see. nervous. Is okay. it going to be an easy one, or is it going to be a difficult one? We shall see. She's looking for Sorry. No, I'm just trying to... I'm trying to, I'm trying to, I'm trying to theme it, and I should just put oh, it randomly, okay. but I'm trying to, I'm trying to make it all work together. Um, so... This is a Christmas Carol question. That's what I was looking oh, for. This is a question okay, about Christmas okay. Carol. Because Muppet Christmas Carol. I was like, she's going through all the easy yeah. ones. Okay, um, this is a fairly easy one, though. I think you'll get this one. Okay. From. What is the name of the last ghost that visits Scrooge in A Christmas Carol? The last ghost yes. is the ghost of Christmas future. Wait. No, it's not. It's the ghost of Christmas present. Because it goes past... Wait, I'm thinking. No, it's future. Yeah. It's future. That's not the way right. it's usually worded, but yes. Go with my gut. Is there another way you would say future? Ghost of Christmas is to come. Yet to come. Very close. Yeah. yeah. Ghost of Christmas yet to come. Ghost of Christmas yet to come. Yeah. And I like future better. <laughs> I know. Future rolls off the tongue. Because future, I feel like, has this, this air of, like, mystery to it. Like, the future. Like, I don't think yet to come has a... Like, the ghost of Christmas yet to come? That doesn't sound mysterious to you? No, it's too oh, wordy. <laughs> okay! I feel like, why use more words when you can use less words? <laughs> Hope's trying it's to not... save Dickens' word count. Just shave a few words off of that. Who is not the writer here. Dickens got paid by the word, okay? You gotta cut him some slack, alright? <laughs> That's why he's trying to cram all those extra words Why do you think Great Expectations is so long, okay? <laughs> he got paid by the word. Ooh. This is kind of a hard one. Are you okay. trying to decide to be nice to me or be hard on me? No, they're both hard. That's oh. why I'm like, which one do I do? Okay, okay, let's do this one. All right, I'm ready. Where did there arise such a clatter? On the roof? Is that your wait, 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 wait. Then on the like, there arose such a clatter, I sprang to my bed to see what was the matter. What is that word that I'm missing? On the lawn? On the lawn, there arose such a clatter. <laughs> yes. Okay, so technically, <laughs> both of us, it was our second answer. <laughs> Actually, that was we both went it. And then Wait. I devil, I, I panicked. <laughs> we both second answer, so. Yeah. Yes, on the lawn. On the lawn, there arose such a clatter. Because then he gets out of bed, that's when he sees the sleigh yes. from It Was the Night Before Christmas. The yes. Poem. It's yes. the night before Christmas. It didn't even right. say that in the question, but that's what they were just assuming point. that you know what a rose <laughs> what is. Somebody like that you didn't know would be like, what? What are you talking? <laughs> what? What is that? 
That's just what we get. I also feel like, though, it's a pretty safe assumption that everybody has heard Twas the Night Before Christmas at least one time in their lives. I would think so. Because but... it's written on everything. It's played on the radio. It's written on throw pillows and, like, Walmart. You know, like, I feel like it's everywhere. But you're correct. Thank you. Whew. On the lawn, there arose such a clatter. Spring from my bed to see what was the matter. Yeah. That's a good one. What else do we have to do? Giveaway information. Yeah. Because giveaway information is kind of important today. Okay, so today is the 8th of December, which means that we are closing our first giveaway um, at midnight, well, 11.59 p.m. tonight when yes. it turns to tomorrow. So technically, today is your last entry yes. for the first giveaway For the package. first week giveaway. Now, it is going to be a mystery package. We're not going to tell you what it is. But week two, which starts tomorrow, we're we throwing you guys a bone. We're going to tell you what it is. We're going to tell you what it is. I feel like we always do the mystery giveaways, and I'm like, at least once they yeah. need to know like what they're winning, and this one is a really cool I think one. it's pretty exciting. It produces um, awesome. Before we do that, though, let me tell you today's emoji of the day for day eight for the week one giveaway, the mystery giveaway. Um, how about we do like a snowflake? Okay. You like a snowflake? Festive. Snowflake, festive. Yes. Christmas is winter on the lawn and the <laughs> snow and the stuff. I'm not very good at Christmas this. future is very cold and, and very weak. Bleak, unless yeah. he changes his life. It's snowing and gets a lot together. in the film Moby Christmas Carol. Sure. We'll do a snowflake. We'll, we'll do that. Snowflakes. 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 So the snowflake will be your final possible entry for the week one mystery giveaway tomorrow, which will be a vlog video. Which is we why we're telling you. Also now. have an emoji of the day at the end of the vlog, so make sure you stay tuned. But we're going to have a vlog coming up, and it's going to be the first entry in the week two giveaway, which is going to be. Two very special prizes. Two very special bookish prizes. AKA short story collection. Yay! You're both gonna of get which both. You're gonna get in the prize package, and I have a short story in both of these books. My what famous author sister has been published two times in paper. And these are the these two. These are the two, and so, we're going to be giving them away to one of you with all of the pre-order goodies that you would have gotten if you had pre-ordered these books, which some of you did, and I'm very grateful for. Thank you very much. But in case you missed it, um, here they are. So we've got Whispers from Before, which is uh, retellings of myths from around the world. My story is the third one, middle of the collection, called The Break River Banshee, um, and it's like a Western historical fantasy with banshees and magic and fun stuff. It's everything. And it's super fun. <laughs> and the... the like little uh, prizes for this one, the little pre-order goodies were little quote cards from each of the stories, so I've got one from each of those tucked in here for you. And then Twisted Grimms is just hanging out October 31st, 2023, and I'm so excited it's here. It's a thick, it's thicker than the first one, and I love There's that There's more story. stories. It is. It's chunky. There are nine stories in here, and mine is the very end of the collection. It's called The Ties We Weave and Bind. These are all inspired by fairy tales. Uh, specifically Grimm's fairy tales, obviously by the title, and mine is a retelling of Rumpelstiltskin. And with the pre-order goodies, you get two pieces of character art from two of the stories that are in here, and a bookmark that, if I do say so myself, is gorgeous. It really is. I'm Getting obsessed with that. it. This is just beautiful. Look at this. It's the cover art for the whole collection, but you get this little matching bookmark and this gorgeous. character art. I dropped it on the floor, but it's fine. So yeah, so you're gonna get, um, in the week two prize package, both of these books. And yes. pre-order goodies. You will have lots of amazing reading ahead. There yes. are some amazing authors in both I'm of these. I'm obsessed with all the stories in both of these books. Honestly, I loved all of them. And I'm really excited to be gifting y'all maybe something to kick off your 2024 reading goal with. There you go. Um, short stories, I find, are a great way to up your reading goal, even though these are collections. But they're faster to read. They're not as hard you can to totally follow. Count these you can just jump right in and yeah. have a good time. So, yeah, if you're... Looking for some reading material, next week's giveaway is the place to go. In order to possibly win these, on tomorrow's Vlogmas video, you will need to find the emoji in the video, comment it down below, yes. and that will be your first entry of eight into this giveaway. At the end of those eight days, that giveaway will close, and only those who entered in that week's time will, their names will be put into win. Yeah. So, really exciting stuff. 
And I think that's all we have for you guys today. So I think so. If you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Subscribe down below for more Disney magic. And make sure you leave a snowflake emoji in your comment to be entered in the week one mystery giveaway. And don't forget that giveaway does end at midnight Walt Disney World time today. So last chance to go back and make sure you filled in all of the giveaway entries leading up to this. Yeah. And to comment your snowflake down below. And we will see you guys next time. Bye. Bye.